Hi, this is Sunil and in this screencast I will talk and show you about format function in Lisp. Common Lisp provides a couple of ways to emit output but the most flexible is the format function. Format takes a variable number of arguments but the only two required arguments are the place to send the output and the string. Format function takes two arguments, a destination for its output and a control string that contains literal text and embedded directives. Any additional arguments provide the value used by the directives in the control string that interpolate values into the output. The first argument to the format, the destination for the output can be t nil a stream or a string with a fill pointer. The second argument is the control string used to format the output of the string. Let's see how a basic format function works. Let us look at a general syntax of a directive in a format function. All directives start with a tilde and end with a single character that identifies the directive. Some directives take prefix parameters which are written immediately following the tilde, separated by a comma, and used to control things such as how many digits to print after the decimal point when printing a floating point number. Let's see an example of a directive now. That's a regular one. Format function modifier. You can also modify the behavior of some directives with a colon and at sign modifier which are placed after any prefix parameters and before the directives identifying character. These modifiers change the behavior of the directive in small ways. When it makes sense you can combine the colon and the at sign modifier to get both modifications. Now let us look how these modifiers work. The first one here is uh, without any modifier and the output is just the same. The second one, second format function, we have added a colon modifier here. In the output, in the output we see uh, commas. And in third format function, we see we added a at sign modifier. In the output, in the output we see the, we get the sign of the uh, variable. And we can also add both modifiers, the colon and also the add sign, to have a meaningful output like a plus sign and this. Now let us look at the basic formatting in format function. The most general purpose directive is tilde, which consumes one for format argument of any type and outputs it in an aesthetic human readable form. A closely related directive tilde s likewise consumes one format argument of any type and outputs it however tilde s tries to generate output that can be read back in with read the other two most frequently used directives are tilde percentage which emits a new line and tilde and which emits a fresh line let us see at character and integer directives one of the simplest of these is the tilde C directive, which is used to emit characters. It takes no prefix arguments but can be modified with the colon and add sign modifier. Five closely relate, related directives format integer values. The most frequently used is tilde directive, which outputs integer in base 10. Now let us see how integer directives work. In the first example here, we have used uh, directive uh, tilde x which is hexadecimal and the output is in hexadecimal 
in the next example we have used tilt o which is which stands for uh, octal and the output is in uh, uh, octal format in the next example we have used tilt b which stands for binary and the output is in binary format and the final one is tilt d which stands for decimal and the output is in decimal format list also provides with list uh, english language directives one of the coolest format directives is the tilt r directive let us see how it works in the first format uh, function i used tilt r directive with input variable as 1 to 9 and i get the output in english in the second format function i used tilt r directive with prefix as uh, at and I get the output uh, in the Roman numeral format. In the third example, I use uh, the tilt R directive with both at and colon, and I get the output in old Roman numeral style. Now let us look at the conditional formatting in format function. This directive is opened with and closed by the corresponding tilt and square bracket, and in between are the number of clause separated by tilt semicolon. The job of this directive is to pick one of the clause which is then processed by the format. However, if the last clause is separated by tilt colon semicolon instead of tilt colon, then the last clause serves as a default clause. Let us see a few examples. In the first example, we have three clause and the condition is one. We get the corresponding output. In the second and third examples we have four clause the fourth one serving as default when no when no other clause is satisfy uh, satisfies the fourth one is uh, processed format also has an iteration directive this directive tells format to iterate over the elements of of a list or over the implicit list of the format arguments Flower bracket is used as iteration in format function. This is an example of iteration in format function. The loop goes on until there are no more elements in the list provided. A much simpler directive is the tilde asterisk directive, which allows you to jump around in the list of format arguments in its basic form without modifier. It simply skips the next argument consuming it without emitting anything. More often, however, it's used with a colon modifier, which causes it to move backward, allowing the same argument to be used a second time. Thank you.